All right, so I want to make this video showing you how to adjust the gas pressure on a Honeywell um, boiler, gas furnace, whatever you want to call it, valve. Now there's two screws on here that'll do the main adjustments, your pilot and your main flow to your burners. Um, I've already got this cover broke loose. Those were two T15 Torx security bit screws. I got those out. They were corroded so bad I just grabbed them with a small pair of uh, vice grips and got them off. So that'll make a little bit more room to, de to describe and show you. Now this little Phillips screw down there is the one that does your pilot adjustment. It's underneath there. That's not the actual screw. Let me see if I can get this in here. So you're going to want to take that out. That's for your pilot adjustment. Save that screw. And then you can see there is a flathead bit down in there to make the adjustment. Let me actually turn the flash on here to show you. You can see it down in there. Clockwise gives it more pressure, bigger flame. Counterclockwise reduces the pressure, smaller pilot flame. I didn't notice a whole lot of difference on this, so I just left it where it was. I'm not sure if the valve is stuck or what, but I wasn't having a problem with the pilot. The problem was the main burner was uh, too high, and that adjustment's under this big flathead. Let me see if I got that loose, and I'll do. It's just the cap as well. And then the adjustment for that is under here. You can use a big flat head or a big Phillips, like a P3 or bigger. Um, it's fairly easy to turn. I would just use a big flat head, or they make a special T handle, or a a cross sp shape spanner for it and I'll show you the issue I was having let me turn the flash off so I can show you that's the same thing clockwise turning it right increases pressure it's a spring valve so you're basically opening it the opening um, more when you screw it in reducing the opening size when you turn it left and quote unquote unscrew it let me turn the flash off as you can see Here's what my problem was. My problem was it was too high. And you'll see, as I increase pressure, you can hear it. The gas, the flame was coming up underneath there. And you could smell the sweet smell of unburnt gas and soot. You could see the black soot on there. So. I needed to reduce the pressure as you can see something more manageable now there's a, there's a way to monitor this by taking those set screws out the allen heads and using a, a gauge I don't have that I'm just doing this by sight and sound for now until I get the gauge uh, it's called a manometer to put on there and make sure it's at like three bar I think either way I knew flame wasn't supposed to come up out from underneath there and heat the whole cabinet and door up so I needed to reduce the pressure hope that helps somebody um, those are your two main adjustments on these valves and then when you're done you just put the cap screws back on there, cap it off, and you're good to go.